everyone, my name is Drooper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install and create your own 5M server totally for free on your own Windows PC. So to do this, what you guys want to do is click the first link down in the description below. I'll bring you guys right here to the 5M server build files. And what you guys want to do is install the latest version available to you by clicking on the top link. Depending on what time in the video it is, it might not be. What time you guys are watching the video even, it might not be the exact server version but it should still work the exact same way if it doesn't then i'll always make sure i drop an updated video if i haven't you can always let me know down in the comment section once you guys have downloaded your latest server files what you guys want to do is simply open them up and you'll be greeted with all of these files right here it looks pretty complicated but trust me it really isn't so from here what you guys are going to do is open up your file explorer and this is where we are going to install our server you are going to need to pick a drive. Now, I would 100% recommend if you have access to an SSD or an NVMe SSD, 100% recommend installing it on there or any of your fastest drives. If you don't have enough room or you don't have any other drives but one or you don't have any SSDs, it really doesn't make much of a difference apart from your server will be slightly slower when it comes to loading itself and loading resources and the world in general. But it really won't make a huge difference. But it's always preferable to have it on the faster drive. What you guys want to do is once you have chosen you are your server directory that you want to install it in it can be inside any folder you really want as long as you follow the next steps what you guys want to do is right click and create a new folder call this folder whatever you guys want it could be fx server it could be 5m server whatever you guys want to name it or you could just name it the exact same as me if you want to follow along with the video exactly but once you've made this folder open it on up and then right click and create a, another folder and call this folder server you do need to call this folder server so make sure you guys do that but once you've done that go inside of this server file and control a in your download and simply drag and drop all of these files into this folder and once that's done what you guys are going to want to do is you can close your download now we don't need that is head down here and find your fx server.exe double click on that and it's going to ask you to allow it in your Windows firewall. Just allow access. And then it should automatically bring you to a web page for TX admin, which is what we are going to use to manage our server off. If it doesn't bring you there, you can copy and paste this link right here and it should automatically bring you there. And it should automatically fill your pin. If it doesn't, that is also there as well. But what you guys are going to want to do is then click link account. And then it is going to link it with your cfx.re account. If you don't have one of those, make sure you make one and then come back to this step afterwards and then log in with your cfx.re account. Once you've done that, hit continue. And then it will ask you to create a backup password for your server. Once you've made your password, you guys should be brought to a page that looks a little like this. And what you guys are going to want to do is hit next and select a name for your server. So you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call this YT server and then hit next. And here you can choose the type of server you install. Now, if you guys want to have an ESX server, which is like economy, having phones, having jobs and all that sort of stuff, which is kind of like no pixel, then you guys can do a different way to what I'm showing you guys now. But if you guys want a base server, which I recommend because it is the best way to learn how to create your own 5M server and you can really learn how to develop a server from the bottom, I would 100% recommend it doing it this way. And what you guys are going to want to do is click on popular recipes and then click this one right here, the CFX default. And then hit save. It should automatically choose a path. As it says, they strongly recommend using the path suggested below. Hit save and then click go to recipe deployer. Just like that, it will give yourself a little recipe to download all the files automatically for you and create this server up and ready. So what you guys want to do is hit next. And then is the next step. So what you guys want to do now is obtain a license key. This is really, really simple, but it can get a little confusing for those of you guys who do not know when it comes to your IP address and everything like that. But what you guys are going to want to do to do this is simply click this little link here, go to Key Master. And once you guys have done that, you've done a capture, it gives you a capture. is sign in to your Keymaster account. 
or create one if you haven't already made one. Once you guys have done that, what you guys want to do is click register a new server. And then the name of your server, it doesn't actually have to link up to the name of the server you just made. It can be any name, so call it whatever you want. And now you guys are going to need to find your initial server IP address, which is basically your IPv4 address. So to do this, is click the link down in the description below. That'll bring you guys to a page where you can get your IPv4 address. It will give you an option to get an address above that, I believe called IPv6. But don't copy and paste that. What you guys want to do is copy and paste your IPv4 address. And then once you guys have done that, and control V. Pick a server type. This really doesn't matter yet again. What you guys are going to want to do is choose whatever one matches to you. But for this video, we are going to be doing a home hosted. So click that. And then for your server provider, just type home hosted. Confirm that you are not a robot. And then generate your server key. Grab your server key, copy and paste it. Go back to your server deployer and really easily copy and paste this into your license key. Then you guys can carry on with creating your server. Hit run recipe. Just like that, you should see it all start working within your file directory to create your own 5M server. Hit next. This is going to be your server.cfg, which is kind of how you configure your server, which is very, very similar to a .config file in LSPDFR. Here you can add your Steam Web API key. You don't necessarily have to have that. If you do, I will leave a link down in the description below on how you guys get that. But you can also here enable your plugins and also add system admins and things like that and change the name of your 5M server. So when you load into the game, it will change the actual name of 5M server within 5M. But what you guys are going to want to do from here, if you don't want to make any changes, I wouldn't recommend doing it if you guys don't know what you're doing. But I will show you guys how to do all of that in a separate video, which is going to be coming very, very soon. So be sure to hit that notification bell, subscribe if you haven't already, and like and comment down below what video you guys want to see next. But once you've done that, what you guys want to do is hit save and run server. Just like that, it will bring you guys in to your server dashboard. From here, what you guys are going to need to do is make sure your server is running and you guys should be able to see it already is. And that is your server control. That's how you stop, restart, and start your server. You can also make announcements, kick all players, and schedule a restart, which is pretty much all you need to know and all you need to do for your base 5M server. Here, you can manage your players. You can see how many players are in it, how many players have total playtime, and things like that, and how many people have warnings and bans, etc. And this is your live console, which is pretty much the exact same thing you guys are seeing here. You can see they match up pretty much exactly the same. You can also type in here, and here is your resources. Now, you guys will not have any in here. Do not worry. That's because you guys have not installed any additional mods into your server. As I said, there will be some future videos coming on that as well. If you go into your server log, this is pretty much everything that has happened. So it'll say your server starting, people leaving, people doing commands, people dying, people typing in chat, etc. You guys get the gist. This is your CFG editor, which is your config again. This is how you change all of your server settings and add plugins and make sure they run. Diagnostics is pretty much what it says. This is all your stats and your diagnostics of your server. And then your admin manager is obviously all of your admins. And if you guys make sure you link your CFXE server account with your 5M account whenever you log in, you should be able to use the admin menus. But once you guys have done that, you can now start up your 5M server. Like so. Start up your 5M, even not your 5M server. You should be able to see a little option here called your server host or home hosted or the name of your PC, wherever you guys have your PC set up to be called. Click that and you should be able to start connecting and joining your own 5M server. And there you guys go. Once you've loaded in, you are within your brand new 5M server that you have made totally for free and is running off your PC. Pretty, pretty cool. And from here, if you stay tuned, you can learn how to make one of the best 5M servers for role playing, etc. But I do want to make you guys aware you cannot get your friends to join it or you cannot get anyone else to join it apart from you because we have not port forwarded it. But that will be coming in the next video. That is the next video to come. So do not worry about that. I will get that up and ready for you guys within the next couple of days. But I am also going to be going away. So all these videos are going to be scheduled. And if they don't come out 
but completely forget to schedule it or the schedule is wrong make sure you guys hammer the comment section down below and i will make sure to release it for you guys when i am away other than that hope you guys did find this video useful if you did please be sure to leave a comment down below what video you guys want to see next i'm hoping you guys have already subscribed be sure to turn on that notification bell like the video and check out the channel sponsor zap posting with using the code highway trooper no capitals or spaces for 20 percent off all 5m servers and pretty much all servers they offer which is minecraft red m you've got pretty much every server in existence so check them out down in the description below and under that i'll see all of you guys in the next video cheers and goodbye